Our inner solar system is home to hundreds of space rocks of all sizes, many of which are traveling in our direction. These are known as asteroids, and NASA has just uncovered some astounding findings about them. You may have heard that an asteroid is heading straight for Earth and that it will destroy humanity on November 2, 2020. Should we be concerned about an asteroid impact, and if so, what should we anticipate? Will humanity eventually find a way to destroy massive, dangerous asteroids before one destroys us? The asteroid in question was discovered in 2018 by this Wiki Transient facility, which is an incredibly large telescope in Palomar, California. NASA is calling it the 2018 VP-1 asteroid and it's about the size of a car as asteroids are concerned it's not huge but the fact is it's heading straight for us if you take a look at Earth's orbit and the trajectory of 2018 VP-1 you can see that it's coming awfully close to the planet but there are some problems when it comes to knowing if an asteroid is going to smash into us. Or not that's because it's hard to track the path of asteroids out there in space and predict where they're going to go. This is because some of them are too small and dull in fact even though 2018 VP-1 was spotted a couple of years ago NASA lost track of it and didn't know where it was even with advanced telescopes and dedicated observations it's still very hard to understand where an asteroid is going to go there are many things that can change the path of an asteroid it can change path just from the heat of the sun. Or another nearby wandering space debris or even a planet can alter the course of an asteroid. That could send it on a collision course with Earth after the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor catastrophe, asteroids striking Earth truly came into the public eye. This chunk of space rock was approximately 66 feet in diameter and entered the Earth's atmosphere over the southern Ural region of Russia at a speed of approximately 42,900 miles per hour although the asteroid disintegrated before hitting the surface of the Earth due to the intense heat produced by its entry it still caused a fireball which was brighter than the sun and was visible up to 60 miles away some eyewitnesses also felt intense heat from the fireball and then on August 22, 2020 it was. Claimed by NASA that an asteroid was headed towards Earth and would enter the atmosphere on November 2 a day before the U.S. presidential election what immediately followed was shock headlines and social media posts sensationalizing the announcement and because 2020 had already served up devastating bushfires hurricanes and a global pandemic. Many people have become legitimately scared that even more devastation was headed our way but it would seem for now that there is nothing to worry about because asteroid 2018 VP1 is unlikely to hit Earth and should pose no threat to humanity this asteroid was discovered by NASA back in 2018 while it was 280,000 miles away from Earth. It's estimated to come within 2,796.17 miles of Earth on November 2nd. That's really close in space terms. There's a slight chance about 1 in 240 or 0.41 the asteroid will hit the Earth, but the asteroid is so small that even if it enters our atmosphere, it's likely to disintegrate into a fireball and break up into a million pieces before reaching the surface. This recent scare caused by this close flyby shows it's the right time to analyze the effect asteroids have on our planet at the beginning of recorded history. There have been multiple records of asteroids impacting the Earth slightly over 65 million years ago. An asteroid now known as the Chicxulub meteor, which had a diameter of between 10 and 50 miles wide, slammed into the Gulf of Mexico and started an extinction event that wiped out nearly 75% of all life on Earth and is credited with the extinction of the dinosaurs elsewhere. From the continental United States to Russia, enormous craters of blasted out Earth have been found. Examples of these are Baringer Crater in North America, Gauss's Bluff in Australia, and Lake Bosomtwi in Africa. Actually, there is a very slim probability that this will occur throughout our lifetimes. The asteroid belt, which spans the whole region of our solar system between Mars and Jupiter's orbits, is thought to contain millions of smaller asteroids and between 1.1 and 1.9 million bigger asteroids with a diameter of at least half a mile between 1988 and 2017. In order to identify asteroids, NASA counted more than 700 fireballs that were produced when various sized space objects entered our atmosphere. NASA employs computer tools to search for moving objects in the night sky after taking several images of them. The closest asteroids are known as near-Earth objects, or NEOs, meaning they orbit at roughly a third of the distance from the Sun. There are over 20,000 NEOs that are known and are currently being tracked based on the object's speed and brightness. These observations are made from multiple locations throughout the planet. As the planet rotates, several observations are made to keep track of the orbits of all asteroids and determine how close they are to Earth. If an asteroid's orbit crosses Earth's and it is larger than 450 feet across, it is classified as a potentially hazardous object, or FOSS. 
The impact energy of an asteroid with a diameter of 30 feet is estimated to be approximately 100 kilotons, but the larger the object, the deadlier the impact. Scientists can map an asteroid's trajectory to predict whether it will collide with Earth. The foe, which has a diameter of about 500 feet and is only slightly bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, has the potential to release about 300 megatons of energy upon impact. For comparison, the explosion of the Tsar bomber, the most potent nuclear weapon ever developed and tested, released only 50 megatons of energy. The most concerning part about this type of asteroid attack is that damage and destruction from asteroids don't always need to occur on Earth's surface. This kind of strike has the ability to kill millions of people and destroy entire cities. The explosion caused by the asteroid's airburst caused extensive ground damage over an irregular elliptical area roughly 60 miles wide and a few tens of miles long. The explosion's secondary effects were the primary cause of the significant number of injuries. The previously mentioned Chelyabinsk meteor dealt a lot of damage despite not hitting the ground. According to Russian officials, within the first few days, 1491 people in Chelyabinsk Oblast required medical assistance, and over 7,200 buildings sustained damage from broken windows and collapsing roofs. That's why a large number of countries are participating in a project known as SpaceGuard to search the skies for NEOS. By 2011, the mission's original target of cataloging 90% of NEOS with a diameter of at least half a mile and the potential to trigger a worldwide disaster had been achieved. Currently, the survey scope has been increased to include the cataloging and tracking of smaller objects that could do significant harm, but not worldwide. We are safe for the time being, but what would we do if we saw a large asteroid heading our way? Our chances of preventing a catastrophic impact depend on the size of the asteroid and, most importantly, when we discover it. For instance, if a foe was headed toward Earth, we would almost certainly be impacted if it were discovered a year from now, however, if it were discovered seven or eight years from now, we would have a genuine chance to deflect the object. Music scientists have currently proposed a number of methods to accomplish this. The first is to explode a nuclear bomb close to or on the surface of the asteroid in order to either split it up or force it onto an alternative route. Despite the dangers of the asteroid breaking apart and the unpredictable nature of the debris left behind following such explosions, if the asteroid is far enough away, it only has to be pushed a few inches to cause enough of a shift in its trajectory to miss Earth. Impact avoidance remains the most viable option, leading to the development of a conceptual hypervelocity asteroid intercept vehicle HAIV, that uses a kinetic impactor to form an initial crater for a subsequent subsurface nuclear detonation within that initial crater. The second, less extreme approach involves using a spacecraft as a battering ram to alter the asteroid's trajectory. This approach has garnered significant backing from NASA through the Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART mission, which is presently in the final stages of development and is scheduled to launch towards the target asteroid in the second half of 2021. The goal of the DART space probes is to impact the asteroid Dimorphos, a foe-sized asteroid in the Digimos binary asteroid system, at a significant speed in order to affect a trajectory shift. Since the course of the Didmos asteroid system does not cross Earth, there is no chance that the deflection experiment might result in an impact hazard. If successful, this mission will represent the first demonstration of asteroid impact avoidance technology. Other concepts include the asteroid gravity tractor, which is based on the theory that a spacecraft orbiting close to an asteroid can, over time, cause a slight change in its trajectory due to the spacecraft's gravitational pull and its mass and size. It can also be used to redirect the asteroid away from Earth. Other concepts that have been proposed include focused solar energy and asteroid laser ablation, which both use directed energy to cause material heated by solar energy or a powerful laser to fly off the surface of the asteroid, which is essentially the same as a jet engine pushing the asteroid off course. All of these theories are sound on a fundamental level, but they will need to be tested one at a time to determine their viability. As of right now, astronomers and scientists have not discovered any objects large enough or traveling fast enough to pose a threat to Earth, but we haven't been looking for very long. There are still vast swathes of space to be explored and new technologies to be developed, so it's possible that a massive asteroid is out there in the vastness of space and we haven't yet discovered it. That's all we have for now, but before we depart, we'd like to know what you would like to see in the next video.